G'day. Here we have another integral to, to evaluate. Again, no trig functions, no exponentials, so we're reduced, provided it's a basic kind of integral, to powers of x or logarithmic functions, or at least logarithmic patterns. We test, because it's a fraction, we test the logarithmic pattern first, and we look for the derivative of this. Now, the derivative of this expression is 6u. And we think we'd have a u on the top. If there was a 6 there, we would exactly have the derivative. So, the first method is to do this. Simply to create a 6 so that we have the exact derivative on top and compensate by writing 1 sixth outside. Again, 1 sixth of 6 is 1. Multiplying by 1 makes no difference to the value. Derivative of this is 6u, which is exactly there. This is the exact pattern we have for a logarithmic function. So the answer is 1 sixth log 1 plus 3u squared du, which I like to write as the logarithm of 1 plus 3u squared over 6. Oh, sorry. I'm really not concentrating. There we go. Plus constant. Again, constant because we have indefinite integrals. I'll do some real definite integral work later. I did mention there was a second method. The second method, if you don't recognise this straight away, is to substitute. And we normally substitute for the more complicated expression, particularly if it's in the denominator. So we would have done this. 1 plus 3u squared. Now, I was a bit cheeky. I deliberately made the variable u because we often use u as a substitution. Let u equal. Here we're going to have to let some other letter equal something. So let, um, let k equal... 1, 1 plus 3u squared. What do we get? The k du is 6u, which means if we multiply both sides by du, that dk is 6u du. And if we divide by 6, we get dk on 6 equals u du. This all derives from that substitution. So we substitute, we perform the derivative, and then we rearrange. And now you notice that we have the integral. On the bottom, 1 plus 3u squared can be replaced with k. And the du Sorry, the u du, we have a u on the top as well, u du, can be replaced by dk on 6. Now this is the same as, I can have the 6 here or move the 6 out the front, so I'll make it 1 sixth the integral of 1 over k dk, which is 1 sixth log k, because you can now see very obviously the derivative of k with respect to k is 1, so we have the derivative on the top, plus a constant, and I don't have room to keep going down, so I'll go sideways, uh, put this over 6, and we have log of k, and if we replace k again with our original value, 1 plus 3u squared plus a constant. Same result as we had before. Now, I was taught at school to use substitution a great deal. And uh, the chances are very high that you have as well. But I want you to realise that some patterns become so obvious and so easy to manipulate just by changing some constants that going to the trouble of substituting and then having to re-substitute at the end can actually use up a lot more space and make it more complicated 
and leave you more liable to make careless mistakes. So it's slower with a greater risk of mistakes. If you understand these simple patterns, this is often a good way to go, which is why I've instructed you this way first. So there are the two methods, one by substitution, one by just observing the pattern, and there's the result. I hope that's made sense to you and thank you for watching.